Good morning, dear friends. Got out here to the bus stop and was just thinking and reflecting and looking at some scriptures, spending some time with the Lord, and I hope that you're able to, maybe today, to get along and spend some time with the Lord helps put things into perspective. Uh, in keeping with the last video I recorded, last night actually, about that reminder that the Lord gave me about, just in case anybody didn't watch it, let me hopefully not be long-winded I tend to do that, but I found myself being pulled in many different directions in my mind, having many responsibilities, cares, burdens, troubles, this, that, and the other, all around me, and I was having a hard time about which one do I pay attention to the most? Like, what's most important out of all these things going on, Lord? And he reminded me of the scripture, which some of you helped me to remember, which is, those whose minds are stayed on thee are kept in perfect peace. In Isaiah, right? And so that helped me to know, to remember where to put my mind and set it and focus it and what was most important to think about out of all these things going on around me or for you, all those things that your mind are being pulled to think about and figure out and this and that that scripture is a reminder that the most important thing that we can think about is him and last night after I had recorded that and went home got a shower and different things I was looking into some scriptures and again I felt well, the need to pray, you know, I wanted to pray, and I really just didn't know where to start. And again, that reminder came. And so, again, the Lord helped me to turn my mind towards Him. And when I turned my mind towards Him, I just said, Lord, That is the way to go, to think about you. And while I'm spending this time thinking about you, you are handling all these things around me. The time that I could be spending thinking about all these other things, I'm spending that time by speaking with you, Lord, or listening for you. If need be, pouring out my heart to you about each and everything that's clouding my mind and then waiting on you to direct me or anything like that. And I thought about what level of trust that that requires to look to Him and let my mind be on Him while He takes care of all these other things. That takes trust. Trust that He is hearing me that he does see what's going on around me. 
and that he does care, and that there's a purpose for all of it, and that he will work it all out. And that led me to think about trust in the Lord with all your heart. And don't depend on your own understanding. Some translations say, or don't try to figure everything out. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And don't even depend on your own understanding or ability to sort out all these matters. Trust in Him. And then, that also led me to a couple of other scriptures. That's what I was going to share. Romans 8, in and around 5 and 6, I paraphrase it. It says, to be carnally minded, or fleshly minded, earthly minded, that is death. But to be spiritually minded, that is life and peace. So, if I've got my mind on all these earthly things and everything that's going on around me all the time, we're told that that leads to death. But to be spiritually minded, heavenly minded, that is life and peace. Also, Colossians 32 says, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Set your mind on things above, where the Lord Jesus Christ sits at the right hand of the Father. Set your mind there. Not on all these things going on in the world. Even all these things that are going on around me that are competing for my attention. And I believe verse 3 goes on to says something in the sorts of if you have been crucified with Christ which we say we are. If you have died with Christ, then your new life is hidden with Him in heaven. Your, our new life, our new perspective, what matters most is hidden with Christ in heaven. And therefore we must put our thoughts on things above where he is. Where the perspective is different. It's higher. He sees the whole picture. He knows which way I should take here and there. He knows where danger lies. He knows what time of testing and trials are coming for me. Setting my mind on him. Receiving instruction from Him. Life and peace is there. So I was just thinking about those kind of things. And if anybody else would so desire to think about those things are having a hard time to set your mind on things above. Not be thinking about earthly things all the time. Then that's what I'd like to ask the Lord to help us to do. And I remember Peter too. When the Lord told Peter that it was his time to leave this earth, he explained what must happen, though they did not yet understand. Peter said, Far be it from you, Lord. No, this will not happen. 
No, far be it from you. Jesus turned and rebuked Peter and said, Get away from me, Satan, for you are a stumbling block to me. You have only in mind the things of this earth and not heavenly matters. I paraphrase that. So, I believe there's a lot to learn here. And if anybody has anything to share about it, I'd, I think it would be beneficial to others. That how do we more and more going forward set our mind on things above where Christ sits at the right hand of the Father, where our new and eternal life is hidden there, kept far away from moths and rust and thieves. Doesn't the Bible say that? That our life, our inheritance, our treasure is hidden there with Christ to be kept far away from any destruction here. So, um, Dear Father, I just ask you that you would help myself and my friends help us to understand more and more what this means to set our mind on things above and help us not to be consumed with all these earthly matters that we are experiencing. Help us to be spiritually minded rather than earthly minded, Lord. For us who do not understand fully what that means, I ask that you'd open our understanding as we go about our days in the next few weeks. Would you bring scriptures to our mind that have to do with this matter? Would you give us some real life examples as we're going about our daily life? That we might say, oh, that's what that means. Will you help us this way, Lord? I know you will. Father, we want to obey your word and go your way. Please give us what we need to live this godly life and obey your commands and keep to your ways. Please give us what we need for this, Lord. You said that you would. And thank you that you keep your promises and you never lie. Oh, that is peace. That is peaceful to think about. That we can trust you to handle all these things that are going on. We can trust you. Thank you so much for hearing us, Lord. It's in Jesus' precious name that I ask according to his will, not our own. Amen. And I love y'all, and I hope this might could help us. Yeah, I'll be excited to